Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Today's episode will be uh, repairing. Repairing first guys, because our makes are pretty beat up. So we're gonna check out the next uh, closest industrial hub, which is down here. And I wanna see if we can find something in the proximity of this mysterious new conflict zone that has emerged from the depth of the inner sphere here. Um, maybe there's something that we can pick up, maybe there's something worthwhile and um, yeah, after that, we're gonna dive back into it because I want to be playing some missions with you guys. My goal is to have a full tier 5 weapon mech at some point right now. And yeah, we're gonna see if we can get some weapon systems for that. This is interesting here. This is a Highlander 733C variant, which has a large uh, missile as well as a medium missile and then a large ballistic as well as two medium energy hardpoints. But it's not a mech that I want nor like. So. It is a very good one, guys, don't get me wrong, but I have better mechs, that's what I'm saying here. So, in terms of weapon systems, we can pick up an LRM 10 tier 4 stream. Let's take... Actually, let's take a bunch of them, I like to have them. I'm... Oh my god, yes, I'm looking also for some big missile packs with Artemis. I'll take all three of them here. And... An Ultra... Two Ultra Auto Cannon 5. Oh, Why the hell not? You know what, I'll take them, no problem. And you can see we have a lot of stuff here available, uh, especially the Ultra Ammo. Um, okay, yeah, that's that. Uh, I also take a bit of Ultra Half Ammo, then there's Streak Ammo, Artemis SRM Ammo. I mean, we have so much of that thing already. Uh, we need LRM Artemis Ammo. Give me a second. Oh yeah, but we have that available as well. And then there's LBX ammo, I also take that up. I have the feeling that we are kind of progressing the storyline a bit and all of the stuff that we have um, available here wasn't showing up earlier, so I wonder when the double heat things show up. This is super interesting. In terms of barracks, uh, there's nobody here that I really want. I mean, we could pick up Rowley, but uh, she's a 58 skill pilot. We have better pilots already, so 60, 59, 59, 60 again, so it's fine. What I want is like full 60 lands, uh, a lands full of 60 tier pilots. However, we are here to repair, so let's get that started. And uh, ho hopefully, it doesn't take too long here, and hopefully, holy crap, that Holy crap, it is completely broken there. Alright, LRM5, Artemis ammo. We lost a bit of stuff here. So, what am I gonna do with that? I think this thing is gonna get AC10 burst fire. Because it's a good idea in general. Or maybe even LBXs. They fire faster, but they spread the damage. I mean, you know what? I wanna check them out. We got two LB10s here. I'll drop the AC10 ammo completely and add some LBX ammo. Four tons should be enough, I think, and with the gained weight, or the reduced weight that we uh, have available, we can actually put an LRM-20 on our mech. And I have the feeling that it might be the LRM-20 Artemis. No, it's not, because we are missing uh, ammunition for it. Hmm. So, could probably drop the heat sinks. Honestly, yeah, that's what we do, and then we're gonna put two tons of Artemis ammo into this mech. Um, like that, Artemis 1. Artemis 2? Alright. I think that's enough, hopefully. So, only two double heat sinks, but I think the mech is fine as is. And you know what? We'll check it out. We're gonna play this thing uh, today. Never mind. What do we have here? Repair. Alright. Another repair and refit. Ooh, also a lot of stuff that is uh, gone missing here. So, what do we need? A medium laser, a heat sink, and then LRMs. Mm hmm. This mech could definitely use double heat sinks. Let's put two doubles into the center here. Good. And then, what was I saying? A medium laser? Sure, let's put the good one in there. Why not? We have four tier 4 lasers on this thing now. Not bad at all. And then there was an LRM 10 stream as well as an LRM 15 stream. Hey, you go there. And you go there. And on top of that, two tons of LRM ammo should be enough, honestly. Uh, I think we can actually afford another heat sink of some sort. Or... Is one ton? Is two tons enough? You know what? I'll give this thing another half ton of ammo for the AC and another half ton of ammo for the missile here. Let's go to the market and pick some up. LRM half. I'm just gonna get all of this because I want to be able to mix and match a bit more. So LRM half, let's go over here. Good. So, that's gonna be the mech. That's gonna be our Atlas. Beautiful. 
I can already feel that the mechs are slowly getting better. This thing here just got a bit of a better setup thanks to the fact that we added some ammo on it. And there's just repairs here, just repairs there, beautiful. Ooh, the quick draw. Yeah, it lost an ultra auto cannon. So, good thing that we have another one. I know that we have tier 5s in here. I don't dare going for it though, not yet. Not on this mech. I have the feeling that the AI, if I put it uh, into AI hands, it might screw it up. Yeah, and then we have this, which is basically a complete disaster. <laughs> Holy crap. We're gonna strip that. Um, can, can we do something real quick? Uh, give me a sec. Can I do this? Yes, and then bring it back? Oh, actually, since we are here and I have to drop it anyway, let's go ahead and sell some. You know what? That's how we do it. Let's get rid of the dragon. Good. Let's get rid of... Ooh, we could play... We can play an awesome or two. I mean, we have enough atlases anyway. We might just build an awesome today. What about that? Guys, I have an idea. I just made up my mind. I want to check out how good of an awesome we can build. So we're going to be taking this awesome 8Q here and have a good time with it. Before that, though, let's get rid of the Banshee. Um, because the Banshee 3E is really a bad mech and I really don't want it in my uh, in my inventory. Just lingering there, having some, uh, having four and a half million sea bills, just, just chilling there. And then this Grasshopper could also go. I don't need it either. And then after that, I would say we're gonna go ahead and build a nice awesome here. Yeah, let's do it. So, edit loadout, that's the first thing. We have three large energy, uh, energy slots and... You know what's coming, right? We could either... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have three ER large laser tier 5. Hmm. That's intriguing, honestly. That's pretty intriguing. The rate of fire is 13, but what about those PPCs? Rate of fire is 14. It's okay. It's okay. It's better. And we have some ER PPCs as well, I think. Where are they? Got three of them. But they generate more heat, and I don't like that idea. No, 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 you know what? We make it a PPC boat. Let's put the best PPCs online that we have. Let's do it like this. And then... You could put a tag into the head. Just for a good measure. You know what? Why the hell not? Because it just costs us one ton. And uh, we could use this as a, a target painter, literally, for all of the enemies. Now, of course, the rest of the mech has to be maximum armor. Not like this, though. The distribution is real garbage. I'll put it back to 20 on the back line, and then I think like 18 to the front. Uh, sorry, to the sides. Let's go in like this. Good. Good. And we drop a bit back from the legs. Like 63. Okay, and that's it. Cool. So, uh, double heat sinks. That's what we need. And then the rest is just gonna be filled up with singles. Easy. The amount. The amount of cooling here. Maybe we can take ER PPCs after all. I mean, they also bring a higher velocity and all of that. I mean, look at that. That's an amazing mech. It's quote-unquote only three PPCs, but still. I want to check this out as well, and the heat management is over 9,000. So, you know what? I'll check this out with ER PPCs. I think we can do it. What's the heat build up here? Let's see. Uh, it is... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Heat is 7.2. The ER PPC is 12. Ha! Huh. All right. All right, all right, all right. And the projector speed is 1600, whereas the regular PPCs is 1100. I'm gonna keep it streamlined. I'm gonna go all in with all of the PPCs. Let's start to work and see what we can do with this beauty here. All right, guys. You ready? Um, yeah, there's nothing here that I want. If there was a hero mech or rare equipment, I would try to take it, but not right now. We need a mission or two, and this is beautiful. We have a bunch of war zones as well as a defense there, and I want to get in and uh, have some fun. I'm gonna pick my atlases, probably, as well as the awesome. The atlases are great for just point defense. You just set them up somewhere and they just shoot, and this is really good for defense missions. And, um, yeah, that's what we do, period. That's just what we do. Awesome takes five more days, so we'll do that. And... Ooh, this is a four-mission operation. Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. Let's play Warzone. Let's get all the salvage here. And we have 400 tons limitation. Now, um... Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Warzone is also pretty good on an Annihilator. You know what? You get the Annihilator. You get 
the Highlander. No, wait, 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 we had the Atlas already. So that's gonna be our lands. Annihilator, Atlas, Atlas. As well as an awesome, let's see how this thing performs. I really, really wonder if we can keep our, um, the enemies of the guard, like, like, off the, off the base. And, uh, just kill them with headshots, maybe. Three PPCs to the face is quite lethal. So, that's also, it's kind of the, like, the poor man's Gauss sniper. Because it doesn't use its Gauss rifle. It uses PPCs instead. Alright. Let's see how many headshots we can get. Headshot counter. Um, I don't know. I don't have one here. I try to keep track in mind. Let's see. I really like that we have the Annihilator here because it's a great point defense mech. It can just stay somewhere. Uh, it has range with the autocannon tens. It has solid damage because it's four of them. And it also has a crazy amount of armor. The only thing that I'm a bit afraid of is if they are light mechs swarming our Annihilator and the pilot is confused and doesn't get where it uh, you know, needs to be, which is with the bag on the wall. It might be that they are just surrounding him and killing him. And then we lose a lot of equipment, a lot of good of it. A lot of good equipment, yeah. But anyway, let's do it! Come on, 100%! And here comes our awesome! I mean, if you have... Think about that. You have an awesome that is piloted by a AI that is tagging everything and then occasionally shooting some PPCs as well and then two missile boats. That sounds so cool. The tag, the idea of having a tag there is so damn cool. Alright, good hunting. We are here. The base is quite small and all of this is quite open. Where are the enemies? I don't see them. Oh, there's one. Good shot there. Uh-huh. Oh, the PPCs. All of them flying. And here come the enemies. Alright, the cooldown is quite lengthy. I need to wait until I can alpha strike again. And then I'm gonna go all in. Maybe like... Uh, not like this now. Maybe like this. Ah, yeah, we missed that. Our range is what? 500 meters? Okay. So we need to get closer anyway. And we liked him. Yeah, that was a shot. Definitely. And, wow, this commando is getting rushed. I love it. He's also going critical. So, Cicada, show up, man. The heat is a okay. It's absolutely manageable. With three PPCs only, it is definitely, definitely okay. And we have some... Uh, we have some double heat sinks on the mech as well. So, it's a fine-ish. I wish I could slap more weapon systems on this thing, honestly. But, hey, here we are. Yeah, where are you, buddy? What? Alright. Got him. So, now the shit is hitting the fan. And go down. Got him. Another one. Good. Down he goes. But I'm looking for the dropship. There should be a dropship coming down. Where is it? I didn't see it coming. I mean, somebody's suddenly shooting. There's that, and we got yeah, 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 there they are. All right, so um, it's okay though. No, it's not a lagging. No, he is. Oh, sorry, man. He's dead. And another cicada. You know what? I go also for the leg here. And once more. Okay. As you can see, the heat builds up to like 40% only. When we take some breaks in between, we're already pretty good in terms of the management of the heat. The management of the cicadas is a different story though. So, so far we didn't really get a headshot, but because I also didn't aim for it, these enemies are really easy to destroy. The hunchback there might be a different story. Yeah, twist it in. Okay, let's be careful. No, that was Santa also. I had to aim a bit higher. Well, maybe ER PPCs are the way to go about it because, again, the higher velocity really, really helps when you want to make call shots. Because the, the you just point and click. You don't have to think about their movement, leading your shots, and so on. All right, that's that. Okay, and now we're going here. I saw something come down there. Problem is that my awesome. Already got a good chunk of damage. And we still have to defend this here. Alright, where are they coming from? Like, like this area? Yeah, there they are. But 1600 meters. Right. 
I mean, it gives us some time at the very least. 1500, what is going on here? Alright, there they come. At the very least, the Cicada is closing in. And you know what? I'm not gonna push them. Not really. Because if the Cicada comes in first and then the others afterwards, uh, it's gonna be good. Let them come in one by one if they want to. Yeah, it's just... Just some damage that I want to produce on the center. Alright, and now the Cicada, because he's in optimal range now. Uh, there. No, oh, he ducked down to cover. Alright, so it's the Enforcer. And another one, and another one. And actually hit the side torso. And we got him! Alright, so I'm trying to go for criticals here on the head. But I wish I had advanced zoom, honestly. Alright. I don't know if that was one. Uh, also, a friendly got killed. Sadly. Sorry, man. You fought bravely. Couldn't, uh, yeah. Couldn't make you survive, though. Rifle man. Alright. So, more tanks and more mechs, more importantly, coming down. Um, this could be a good target practice here. That was certainly the center. Oh, yeah, and he's getting peppered by a lot of other stuff. Yet again, the center, so this guy's gonna just die. Fine. Rifleman! No, he just the way. Hey, stop moving. Thank you. So nice, isn't he? Just doing as us. Huh? Ah, we hit the head. But it wasn't enough. Oh, he's dead now. Alright. Works for me. So much for my headshot count, it's zero. I mean, the headshot, we hit the head multiple times, but on different targets, which, um, you know, I mean, it means that there is no real impact. We didn't kill with the headshot, that's the thing. I mean, we can easily destroy those tanks, that's the cool thing about the build, it's amazing. Three PPCs? I completely neglected that. What? What are you doing there? Huh? No? Like this? No? Alright. I guess. Again. One, two, down they go. And then the tag. Oh, this war zone is going very nicely. I, I just, I, I'm having a good time. I don't know. I hope you have a good day, guys. Seriously. I really hope so. Is that a Thunderbolt? Uh -huh. How about, yeah, your side also. Your center also. But yeah, seriously, when, whenever I'm coming out of bed each morning, I'm like, hey, guys, you know what? I'm pretty privileged being able to make some people happy, giving them some, some good time uh, by them watching my videos. And um, yeah, I, I really like the job as a basically entertainer. So if you have a good time, I'm happy. All right, there's another Thunderbolt. Thunderbolts are so hard to hit in there. It's like very, very small, the cockpit. Uh, let's just kill him. And you know what? I neglected the tag completely so far. I completely neglected the tag. Which uh, actually helps our friends. Because they have a uh, substantial amount of missiles here. Especially those addresses. Alright. So. Tagging now. Let's see what we can do. I have that mm, on my mouse button 4. Which is basically my thumb button. And uh, this, uh, I just squeeze my mouse right now, like this. This is how I do it, right? This is how I activate the tag. Right, uh, tanks coming somewhere? No. No, 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 no. Seemingly there's nothing. We have to destroy three enemies until the war zone is over, but I think we stay a little longer. What? Oh, I can, I can tag dead people. Interesting. All right, that's funny. And the funny thing about the tag here is that the, the range is only 495 meters. So, staying all the way in the back at 1000 meters and tagging and then shooting LRMs is not really an option. The, ta the tag is really, really meant for reconnaissance uh, mechs. Scouts. Have a tag on a... I don't know. A javelin. Let it run to the front line. Tag the people. Have a good time. Okay, back to headshotting. 
That did not headshot. Let's try again. That did headshot, partially. Okay, let's kill him. Because we have better targets there. It's Battlemaster. What about here? It is not. Yeah, getting close. That was again his center torso. I just eat this. It's two dead return fire. Yet again. So, speaking of poor man's sniper, um, we definitely hit him, but it is better to hit cockpits with Gauss rifles than, than what we are doing here. It's easier. Also, the high velocity really helps. But that's the good thing. We learned something today, and now, um, you know, you don't have to do, hmm, how to say it, the same mistake. Um, you know more than you did before, which is good. Uh, I actually want to stay on this map a little longer. Let's see how far we can take it. Our evac is down there in the base, which is good. So we get some cover when we when we move down the hill, and the enemies are all the way up there. So let's keep going. All right. Yeah, I see an Orion. I see another Orion. Shoot them. Oh, ducked out of the way in the very last second. What's that? Really? What the? Okay. Now we hit him. Now we hit him, and that's good. So I'm going a bit up front here, just because I want to. I want to destroy this. I want to be in the fight bigger. Let's go. Uh oh, is that for me? I mean, you're dead. Technically. Get him, boys! Alright, I'm doing it then. But, again, in general, I love this awesome. Why did I not play the awesome earlier? So the 8Q is actually quite good in a mission like... Ooh, okay, like this. Is that another... Oh, maybe... No, center torso yet again. Alright, come over here. Stay close. Ah! Take that! I think that that definitely was a headshot, wasn't it? Alright, I mean, we have armor still, so we're gonna stay in the fight for a little longer. Come on, guys, throw something bigger at me. I know what you have Atlas somewhere. Maybe even Annihilators? The problem that we will most likely have is uh, the rights of salvage that are rather slim here. So, let's gather some more sea bills. At the moment, we, we are in a, such a good position. Maybe we can even make it up to the very last stand. Like, like trying to, to get here or stay here for as long as possible to max out our salvage in the end. Our money that we get. Our payment. You can see on the top of the screen there is an additional payment counter um, that goes up as long as we are staying here and getting kills. We can bug out at any point. But I want to get 2 million sea bills here. Should be possible. All right. Come on, kill him. I have him tagged. So. Enemy mech down. Very good. Now what? More enemy forces. No. I'll be done. No, 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 no. There's something coming. No. That's just a dead, dead thing. Seriously. Where are those enemies? Oh, wow, there's a guy right there in the back. I will center. Alright, let's go. What ahead. If at all possible. Come on, hunchback. Your head is like here. Ah, it went to the left side torso. He was moving a bit. This again. Side torso. He's super slow. But that's definitely a target that I want to get. Yeah, there goes the side. We didn't hit the head once. That was a headshot. That was again a headshot. Uh, no. Ah, you got him. Okay, so I would say one more wave and then we're gonna get out of here because, um, yes, we will get some more Seabills, but I think the more efficient way to gain more money and salvage is to uh, actually play more missions where, because we will get more money here, but we don't have any additional salvage rights. And salvage is actually a good way to bolster your Seabill balance. 
So, we're missing out on some stuff here. Okay. That. Get that. Oh, wait, we didn't quite get it. No, that went th uh, to the ground. Uh, and yeah, that, that's just it. That's where we're just gonna roll out of here. Can easily get the uh, locust there. No, we cannot. What? Alright, we slowed him down. That's the headshot. Can I finish it? No, not like that. Ah, you know what? We just go for it. Pop. And... Pop. And... Pop. And down he goes. I mean, this is... Good still, right? Come on, get him, boys. Get him. Good. So, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna call in the dropship. And we're gonna get out of here with five additional millions of sea bills. That's pretty good. Let's get you out of there, Commander. That's Stand amazing, by. actually. So, a good job, team. Uh, but I'm here to play another mission here. So, maybe in the next war zone, we will get something better and bigger and so on. So, at the moment, we were just fighting lights and mediums mostly. We only got a chunk of heavy mechs on the board. And we have. A lot of stuff on the table. Also pretty good weapon systems. So let's check it out. Bunch of cicadas, there's an enforcer, as well as uh, Locus, another enforcer, and the Cyclops. But look at this. All the tier 4 weapons. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Single heat sinks mostly. So, I'll be taking an AC-10 burst, tier 4 definitely, tier 3 is also fine, and then... We have so many large lasers already that we are not using, but medium lasers are always handy, especially the tier 4 ones. So I'm skipping on the uh, on the max there. Uh, instead, I'm taking better weapon systems. Let's do it. We destroyed 14 max with the awesome. That's awesome. Cool. So next mission, let's go ahead and play the second contract. That's a war zone again, and I want to dive into this here. Uh, we don't need... Did we go for maximum salvage last? I think we didn't, yeah. Uh, we'll negotiate for money. You know what? A bit of damage coverage. Not, nothing crazy here. Cool. So, uh, we could play the awesome again. Or... Or... There was a king crab that was in the making. Ah, it's damaged still. I wanted to check out that thing. Uh, but you know what? Because we are not in dire need of money, I can easily just... Just wait. Give me a sec. Um, battle max. No, wait. Uh, we have to go to contracts. I have to pick the king crab. Then I have to wait. All right, king crab to be ready. Now I can confirm the lands. Perfect. So you're gonna drop in a fresh atlas. You're gonna drop in, uh, let's say, the highlander, and you're gonna drop in the battle master or the other king crab. Yeah, you go for the king crab. Cool. Two crabs, an atlas, and a highlander went into a bar. The bar is destroyed. Ha! Ah, funny. Oh, man. So, yeah. Um, LB Axis. LRM-20. Large laser, if I remember correctly. I need to check out the heat management of that. I think, if I remember correctly, we got two double heat sinks only in the f in the whole mech. Of course, the engine comes with 10 heat sinks, so in total we have 12. And the two in the engines are also... Uh, the two additional ones are double heat sinks, so it should be okay-ish. But it's not much that we have. So I wonder if we can somehow manage the engagement distance, the, the DPS and so on, and um, manage our heat as well. I mean, the awesome in the last game was really good. It was perfect, basically. And uh, with the build that we had there, we could probably also ditch the two doubles and add two more singles instead. Using the doubles on a mech that has a more, like a heavier need on double right heat sinks. Thick of it, Commander. Help each other hold back the tide of the enemy advance as long as possible. Yeah, and sure. Get the hell out of there. All right. We will be on standby, waiting for your extraction. Oh, that's a nice map. It's wide and open again. I mean, there's one canyon, and I really hope that the enemies are not dropping in there, but instead um, that we have a good time shooting them when they're coming down in the base. So let's go ahead and do it. A thing that we could have also done with the King Crab here, by the way, is adding an, uh, let's say, SRM-6 instead of the 20. But hey, it's an Artemis weapon. 
So, I saw a javelin. That's good. Enemy mech is heavily damaged. That was an enemy, right? An enemy saying that the enemy mech is heavily damaged. Okay, let's go. Target destroyed. We have 160 shells uh, for our LBXs. And that's another factor of playing war zones. If you want to stick to a war zone, then you got to have ammo. A lot of it. Okay, got that thing. The base is actually providing a lot of cover here. Support. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm having we're having a good time here. Shooting those enemies. Uh, I can't see. All right, there we go. That's pretty cool. Let's see how it goes when there's more adversaries on the board. Holy crap, give me bigger mechs to shoot at. I wanna see how those LV-10s are They're just tearing through their armor. Come on, Rihanna. Oh wait, yeah, 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 I gotta get in there. Of course, I have to trigger the event. Because it's always the case. I don't like this rule of proximity thing here. That you actually have to go uh, where you know, the game wants you in order to trigger the event and then uh, the, the next things are happening. Especially on um, assassination missions. Because it's uh, sometimes a good idea to just destroy those enemies with long-range weapons, uh, but it only becomes the assassination target when you actually reach the checkpoint. So, long-range is not really an option and sometimes I have the bug that uh, on assassination missions I killed the assassination target before it was on my sensors and then um, it would, wouldn't turn into the actual target anymore because it's gone already. And then I couldn't finish the mission because I had no target to destroy. That's not, uh, not cool. Oh, too close here. Uh, so yeah, heat management is glorious. Like we are playing it now. Uh, next dropship. Oh yeah, coming down here. Oh, yeah, okay. So, let's go for the rifleman. Uh, finally, I'm in range for maximum mayhem. I can shoot all of my weapon systems at the same time, which is glorious. I don't have vision, though. Yeah, great. Good job! The Highlander actually provided cover for the enemies, and as a result, he took more damage than needed. Okay, and that's the heat critical warning. Interesting, first time. That's the first time. I would say I'm gonna cool down. And we're gonna keep doing what we're doing here. Right? Dropship. Alright, on the other side of the battlefield yet again. Ooh, when they bring marauders. I don't like marauders. I mean, I like them on my side. Not on the enemy sides. Because they're sturdy. They're hard to destroy. They have great hitboxes. Alright, the cicada is going rogue. Mm. Hello, people. Can we kill this? Thank you. Yeah, we can. That is beautiful. I'm taking a lot of return fire though, so let's calm quickly deal with the tanks here. And the flyers in the sky. Alright, got him. This is Cicada. Whoop. Alright. Got him. No, didn't get him. Didn't get him. I mean, I hit him, but that was not enough. Ooh. The cicada is quite nasty, but we still have a flyer here. Yeah. Thought so. I thought so. Yeah, this mission is a bit... Mm, it is quicker. Definitely quicker, but also a bit nastier. Oh, he's lagged. Okay, we're gonna finish him then. On the legs. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by him anymore. People, can you follow? Get this leg off of him. Good. Uh-huh. So, here's the thing. I'm gonna deal with the tanks first. Leave it for my friends to just get engaged with the uh, with the max there. And then I'm following up. I think I hit my friend. Also, I just realized that we get a good chunk of headshots out of this here. Alright, Igor. Igor in the sky. Good. Uh, warrior as well. 
Who's shooting me in the butt? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. Somebody's here and he doesn't like me. It's another freaking gore. Oh. Um, help. I think I have ammo in my legs. And my leg is open. Which is not a good combination, if you ask me. So I think... Uh, we're gonna get out of this mission here. As quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah. And... Blast him! Good. Very, very good. We have to go 1300 meters in order to get out of here. Alright, let's start moving. Yeah, this is the moment where I just run, because my mech is not in any fighting position anymore. The mech works, though. It works like a charm. But it is, after all, a frontliner. And I, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, hit me. Um, it's difficult to play. It's really difficult. Because you will take some return fire. Alright, we got this guy. That's additional seabills. Let's not forget about the crawlers and the flyers. Because uh, they also give you more money in the end in a war zone environment. So, easy, easy kills means easy, easy money. Like this, for example. See? Easy as that. Okay. Damage report on the other guys. The king crab, my other king crab, is under heavy distress, so it seems. Uh huh. Highlander is fine ish. Weapon arm is a bit damaged. But I think you got this, guys, right? I do think you got this. Well, I'm almost down there, almost getting out of this. And if I am. Oh, Koshran! Koshran, Koshran, Koshran. You are the king crab. I mean, the Atlas is in a good state, but I don't see my king crab anymore, and he is dropping in terms of damage and hit points. So let's try to just get out of here. Let's see. Oh my god, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. He's getting shot from behind a lot. Can just hope that nothing goes critical. Alright. Javelin went away. Alright. Here we go. Will be pleased. Oh my god, this is what I mean. Yeah, our king crab got almost beat up. But hey, we had to go. The only thing that we could have done maybe was um, pulling back a little bit, turning around, dealing with the guys that were on our path, on, our, on pursuit there, um, and then going on. Would have been maybe the better idea. But here we are. Getting a bit of salvage. Definitely taking the uh, medium laser there. We have 10 PPCs of a uh, tier 3 kind. No, so it's gonna be a javelin. For a bit of money. And the rest of this is just single heat sinks and so on. So three more points are gonna get dunked into a medium laser and a jump jet. Why the hell not? Oh, I like that my people are getting more and more experience here. I mean, Captain Koshran, she is new. She's a 42 out of 60 pilot, but she has some great potential. Or he has some great potential. Alright. Okay, guys. That has been it for today. It was hell of a blast playing that today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.